This is the uh, demonstration of the ultra low cost global health simulator, the general functionality of what it will eventually be. So we have mannequin here um, that we're going to put our big tissue on. This is a big tissue made of bioplastics. Um, so we put it right here where the C section would be. Uh, we have four probes on, on a plastic connected to the Arduino board. Um, and then the Arduino is connected to the computer, which is then going to plot wherever the tool is going to be. So there's a scalpel, place it in the middle, the result, and then as we move it, you can see that the tool is tracked. So for the uh, two different methods that we're using, we, uh, we're utilizing either try to figure out the resistances by interpolating and doing voltage dividers, or method two, we're measuring a strict voltage. Uh, this, this method has proven to be a little more challenging and less consistent, so we have moved to method two as our primary, primary goal to achieve where that we have the resistance built in with the, um, the material that we're using. We've got voltage supply switching from the sides to the top. This corner is always grounded. And then the probe that you're using that would be the scalpel or whatever is the voltage meter and that connects directly to the Arduino and would be measuring a voltage. So we've got a chronological order of our different types of samples. So this is a sample that we made a mere half hour ago. And as you can tell, it's, you know, it's already pretty dry and it's very, very malleable and ductile. It's good. It, it very represents skin lot. However, what we notice is after a couple days, maybe a week, it gets to be much more plastic-like, and it's not quite as as ductile, and it's not as good to represent skin. So that's why we kind of move forward with a different recipe that's called Plowtex, which also ha which also has um, vinegar and starch in it. So it still contains glycerin, um, water and gelatin, but we had vinegar and starch. And this is actually after drying for a long time. We made this a couple months ago, and it's still really flexible and yet strong. So we got much better results um, in terms of skin and in the long run with this. The problem is that it takes a while to, to dry, uh, probably a couple days to a week. And, um, and then we have bubble issues, which is um, inconvenience for homogeneous, uh, for homogeneous plastic and resistance. So we did figure out a way to prevent bubbles, which is only, uh, um, it depends on the way we heat it. So if we heat it for a little shorter time, um, we actually get way less bubbles. And then the, these are two more uh, usable samples that we, using the same recipe, however, this one is, um, there's carbon powder in it graphite to, uh, to increase the conductivity, or that was our original thought. Um, however, they're both the exact same original material with the added, added graphite to make it black, but they both have pennies on each corner, which helps to increase, or what we think, to increase the, um, the voltage that is supplied to the, the sample. Um, and these both have worked out very well, and we are working to further um, finalize it these models so that they are completely homogenous as well as conductive enough.